just get through changing this clock faster right here on this 1.6 motherboard on this Xbox. Did that last night. Even as I'm paying over here. And there's another 1.6 with the clock faster replaced also. Alright, this is the original Xbox 1.6 motherboard. Clock capacitor. Okay. So, your clock capacitor goes right there. And I already removed it. There it is right there. So, the, the, the way you have to remove this is you have to desolder it. And if you look, you'll see why. You do not want to try to break this clock capacitor off. You don't want to twist it or break it off. See all them traces that go underneath the battery? So if you start, you know, rocking that capacitor back and forth like a seesaw, trying to break it off, you get damaged motherboard because you got all these traces. Alright, yeah, this is a clock capacitor right there. From 1.6 motherboard on the Xbox, and I replaced them. I'm gonna show you why. This is my ESR meter. It's gonna tell me how much capacity uh, or capacitance that the capacitor has. And if it has, if it's missing like 10%, then you're supposed to replace them. Well, this is a 1F capacitor. A 1F is like a lot bigger than a microfarad. But I got it set on microfarads right now because it wasn't reading, it wasn't reading on the higher numbers. So I set it on this uh, a lower setting, and it, now it's reading. So basically, what what all that says right there is it basically comes out to 0 0.012 farad. So that's under a farad. It's 0 0.01227 Fahrenheit. Okay, let me show you another capacitor. All right, this is the other clock capacitor. You can see it hooked up to it. So that basically translates to 0 0.00216 Fahrenheit. Yeah, point zero zero one three Fahrenheit. Yeah, so I pulled these from two Xboxes that were working. And you know how the 1.6s, they don't work uh, if the clock capacitor isn't there. If you remove, basically if you remove it, it, the console won't power on. So you have to have the clock capacitors in there. But I'm just showing y'all that these old, these like 20 year old clock capacitors here, 18 years old, however they are, they're not any good. I mean, look at that. It's basically reading at 0 0.0016 Fahrenheit. It's supposed to be reading one Fahrenheit. So it's 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 lost more than 10% of its capacity. It's it's probably hanging on like its last 10% of its capacity. It's probably lost like 90% of its capacity. So even though these capacitors were working or the xboxes were working these still need to be replaced and that's what this little tool is telling me right there so yeah that's why i made this video to show y'all that y'all need to go ahead and start replacing them capacitors and then 1.6s with some brand new capacitors i also want to show y'all something See that capacitor's hooked up there i'm gonna show y'all this So I got this setting right here, it says 20 MF, so I got it set on microfarads. So it's saying that it has 2.0 microfarads of capacity, and that translates to 0 0.002 farad.